So I got asked this question on how to uh, organize about 30 things in a day, I think for an event, how to have harmony and how to let go of control. Uh, that's a great, uh, great question. Um, uh, for me, there. Um, if I want harmony, if I want flow, um, if I want miracles, then I have to let go of all the baggage, all the belief systems, all the expectations, outcomes, resentments, and fears uh, associated with. So I'd probably uh, write down the thirty things and see what kind of charge I've got. Like if this is going to be difficult, or this is going to be easy, or just looking at the list, there's going to be too much stuff to do. So I could um, do various things like cancel, cancel my belief. Um, uh, uh, I could cancel my belief. Oh, I need to get all of this done perfectly because that would be an expectation or an outcome. That would be an unwillingness to surrender and let, if you like, the miracles happen. Uh, and also, if you've got no outcomes, it's to be happy and it, happy with um, whatever happens. So it could all go miraculously and the 30 things could effortlessly get done and the people around you uh, could, uh, you know, be very, very happy with what's happening or, or not. But when you get to this place of um, doing the spiritual work of neutrality, where you're happy if it goes really well and you're happy if it doesn't go really well, that usually means that the outcomes, the expectations, the need to be in control, the need for it all to go your way as you picture it, um, um, then, no, I forgot what I was saying, but anyway, it goes a lot better when you let all of that, all the expectations go. So let me just get my lighting right. The light's sort of going, uh, sunlight sort of coming in. Okay, so yeah, I could, I could uh, see what the beliefs are. I could, um, uh, do I surrender to God my fear? It won't go well and pray for forgiveness, transcendence, and miracles. I cancel my outcomes and expectations for it to go smoothly. Um, I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. I cancel my belief um, it'll go badly. I'm an infinite being. So you're, um, you're cancelling the dualities, both the, um, the egos want it to go a perfect way and also the egos fears that um, it'll go badly. So I cancel my fear that uh, uh, organizing and doing uh, these 30, um, 30 tasks will go badly. I'm an infinite being subject to what I hold in mind. So as you do the prayers or the cancelling of beliefs, then you'll find that eventually you'll get to a point where you'd, it's like the ego hasn't got a charge around it. Whether it goes well or not, there's happiness independent of how it goes, how people respond to the, to the day and organising things whether it goes all smoothly or there's difficulties. Uh, and usually it's a paradox when you let go of the outcomes and expectations for it to go positively or negatively, usually the, the miraculous happens. Why, why is that? Well, it's because once the ego's out of the way, then it's, much, it's more likely, uh, but you can't really force miracles, it's more likely that that grace and that flow and the miraculous will happen and things will get organized from a higher field of consciousness. So I'd be doing that, I could do the observer. So let's say there's all the, uh, you, uh, you, you look at the list and see all the fears, uh, all the outcomes and expectations coming up. You feel fearful, you feel excited, whatever it is, and go to the observer of that. So what's observing the thoughts that it needs to go this way or that way, or that'll go badly? What's observing the fears? Um, if you're the witnesser of all of this and in the position of the detached witnesser, um, then uh, it's like you, you've completely let go. And so however it happens is however it happens. And usually that is the best place uh, for miracles to happen from. So if you're feeling a lot of fear or anxiety, you can do feel the feeling. So let go of making a story or labeling uh, and just allow any sort of feelings to come up, any fears or any anxieties, and just sort of be with them and let them dissipate. And often when there's not a, a strong emotional charge, things uh, are more likely to go effort effortlessly. 
I, you can also do the, the usual course of miracles prayer. I pray for a miracle to see organizing these 30 things on this day differently. Uh, God is love in which I forgive myself uh, and forgive my outcomes on the day. Um, I pray for a miracle to see this event in truth. Um, you know, basically, uh, I would try and do the spiritual work so that your ego is out of the way on the day. So you just allow grace to unfold through you. But you can only do that if you let go of any repressed fears uh, and let go of any outcomes, expectations through the cancelling or uh, prayers for surrender, all outcomes and expectations. And then usually there's this flow. Or you can think of it another way, which is like, um, uh, usually if I have to make a, for example, a cup of tea, because there's no charge, whether I do it perfectly or not, it usually goes quite well. And it's usually when I've got a lot of anxiety or I need it to go a certain way. That's usually when um, there's more of a likelihood of my ego getting in the way. Now, I'm wishing you miracles with the event unfolding miraculously. And I'm going to stop recording.